Good morning, August 3rd. Speak no evil. Do not speak evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who are you to judge another? James chapter 4, verses 11 and 12. We have all crossed paths with overly critical people. These people are the ones who always have something negative to say about everyone and never give a compliment or an encouraging word. Most of the time, people are critical because they want others to think they are witty, clever, or discerning. Ultimately, this kind of attitude is nothing more than a very effective repellent. Who would want to be friends with a negative person who reproaches the people around him or her? No one wants to worry about being the next target of criticism. James challenges us to avoid speaking evil about each other in order to bolster our self-image or hurt someone. God alone stands as the judge, and he commands us to love each other as he loves us. God has set a double fence before the tongue, the teeth, and the lips to teach us to be wary that we offend not with our tongue. Thomas Watson Good evening, comfort through tears. Record my lament, list my tears on your scroll. Are they not in your record? Psalm chapter 56, verse 8. Tears allow us to release our sorrow and grief in a natural way. They are not a sign of weakness, but arise from love, tenderness, and compassion. Washington Irving said, There is a sacredness in tears. They are not the marks of weakness, but of power. They speak more eloquently than 10,000 tongues. They are the messengers of overwhelming grief, of deep contrition, and of unspeakable love. Tears alleviate our sorrow and hasten the healing of our hearts. God is moved by our grief and through our tears provides us with a way of dealing with sorrow. When Jesus wept, God showed us the sanctity of tears. He was powerful enough to remove the cause of sorrow yet human enough to shed tears himself. Thank God for the healing, delivering, and purifying power of sincere tears. They soften grief, bring acceptance, and eventually lead to joy. We also have God's promise that there will be an end to our tears. John, speaking of the new heaven and earth, says, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4.